Welcome back to VBAR 101. Uh, this time I'm going to show you bank switching. Bank switching is when you set up a totally different set of parameters that you can change in flight. Uh, there is some um, settings like uh, swashplate and stuff that is carried over uh, the same everywhere. But uh, otherwise you can change almost any settings by the flip of a switch. The first thing you have to do is check um, actually see it here down in the live display the auxiliary channel you have to program the radio and it depends on your radio it's normally channel 4 meaning uh, the gain channel on a receiver um, and you have to program that to a switch to the flight mode whatever you want to uh, to control the different banks, uh, but you can watch it when when you test it to see if you have set it up correctly. You will can te test the switch on the radio, and it, this bar should move. Uh, and I'm gonna show you in a second w how uh, it will reflect to the changes. Uh, under this switch, we have we can actually manually switch between the banks or we can set bank 0, 1, 2, 3 and that will activate that switch on the radio or we can say only control the tail gyro gain if you if you're if the only thing you need is to control that one then it's uh, uh, you can set that if you are having problems uh, especially if you run satellites, spectrum satellites, and you have problem to get the auxiliary to respond, go in under setup TX calibration expert and look and look that the uh, channel four is here. If you cannot use channel four for some reason, you can use the channel six, which is the um, auxiliary two on a spectrum. But um, default, it, it's um, channel four. So when we enable uh, bank switching, there is one very, very important thing you have to do. You cannot forget this, and that is to copy a flying working copy to all banks. If you don't do that, and for some reason you have a mix in the radio, or let's say the radio go into failsafe, and the failsafe is set to an it jumps into a bank which isn't having flyable parameters there is no chance that you're gonna save the helicopter um, unless you're very high and you can switch back so first of all make sure we have a flying setup uh, that is even if it's not good just uh, make sure it's uh, flyable and then copy to all banks this means that every bank is the same now. So when I switch over to bank 0, 1, 2, 3, uh, you will see here that active bank is 0. My auxiliary tip points to the green bar down here for bank 0. If I now switch over my switch on the radio, you will see it change to active bank 1. Now I can start doing stuff here. We can do just to show the effect. Now I program this bank. So when I switch back the switch, it will jump back to my previous setting. So this is really good if you're gonna try different type of settings, uh, uh, or if you have different flight modes and you feel you want to have a different expo on the normal mode or whatever reason you have. But uh, don't do not forget to copy uh, a working. Uh, set up to all banks before you activate. If we set to gyro gain, this slider will become, um, no matter where I put the slider, you see 15 here, and it will be linked to actually the percentage out on my channel, so you can uh, tweak the radio for, for tail gyro gain. So that's bank switching uh, in a nutshell. In this screen we also have Bluetooth pin. If you have a Bluetooth adapter you set the pin here. Uh, also we have a cold start with a recalibrate. It's the same thing as switching the heli on, uh, on and off. It actually recalibrates the gyro. So that's it for this time.